There are many gods in India. Why do you worship Krishna? In the Bhagavad Gita, there is a beautiful verse. Yada yada hi dharmasya, klanit bhavati badatha, apyuddhanam adharmasya, tadharmanam srijamiham. This verse is very beautiful because it explains the own one God, the one Shrut, the descended into this world over the ages in many forms with many names. But always for the same purpose, to remind us what we have forgotten, our own deep, true spiritual nature. And when we connect to that nature, we are transformed. Arrogance is transformed into humility, greed into generosity, lust into love, complacency into compassion and misery to true happiness. It's the transformation that the Lord teaches us when He comes into this world. So, in this way, this verse teaches a very inclusive conception and that one truth the source of everything that exists, whom people call God or Allah or Jehovah, etc. The name Krishna is very prominent within the Vedas or the scriptures or within the history of the country. Krishna appeared about 5000 years ago and spoke the Gita and performed beautiful pastimes of love. The name Krishna in Sanskrit means all attractive. So, in my heart and the hearts of the millions of people in India, either because of their forefathers and mothers or because of just the inspiration of their heart, we just found such beauty and sweetness and philosophical meaning in the past that has been given in Bhagavad Gita spoken by Krishna.